Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Maundy Thursday, 2023, April the 6th of 2023 to Peace Through the Word, Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod Congregation. And I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, uh, welcoming you worldwide to this devotional piece of ministry. Uh, today is Maundy Thursday, and uh, this is the uh, night that Jesus institutes his Holy Supper for the forgiveness of sins. It's a sacrament, uh, and he does that for that strict purpose, to give us the assurance that our sins are totally forgiven in, with, and under bread and wine uh, that he shed his blood uh, on the cross uh, on that first uh Monday Thursday, he uh, went to be, he was betrayed uh, by one of his followers. Uh, he uh, incurred a mock trial, like we're seeing today. Um, and then he was sentenced uh, to crucifixion for crimes he never committed. And he shed his blood, and then he rose again on Easter Sunday. So a lot of things going on that he, uh, beginning tonight, Monday, Thursday, continuing through Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. So a lot of things that we're going to be celebrating and talking about and worshiping uh, here at Peace and Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in the United States. Trusting that you are going to be doing that as well as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today we're going to be looking at the subject of blood, water, blood, and spirit. Three things that came out of Jesus and three things that Jesus gives to us for the forgiveness of sins. Water, blood, and spirit. But allow me to please pray. So, O oh Lord, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a remembrance of your passion. Grant that we may so receive the sacred mystery of your body and blood that the fruits of your redemption may continually be manifest in us. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so in the morning, O Lord, you hear our voices. In the morning, we prepare a sacrifice for you and we watch. Our mouths are filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So the passage of Scripture that our devotional is going to use to unpack for us this morning is that of St. John, chapter 19, verse 34. And it's the account where one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear. And at once there came out blood and water. And that was not just an accident. That was a deliberate, intentional sign, if you will, for us. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. The Jews asked Pilate to take the bodies down from their crosses so that they would not be hanging there over the Sabbath day. John is the only gospel writer to acknowledge that after the Roman soldiers broke the legs of the first two criminals, they did not break the legs of our Lord since it was evident that Jesus was already dead. One soldier took the tip of his spear and pierced it into Jesus' side, causing blood and water to gush forth. These actions fulfilled two Old Testament prophecies. First, not one of Jesus' bones was broken in Psalm 30, verse 20, and 22, verse 17. Second, the Jews would look at the one they had pierced, Zechariah 12, verse 10. So St. John adds later that three witnesses, the water, the blood, and the spirit, all testify and all agree that Jesus Christ is the Lord of life. The water pouring out from Jesus' side 
refers to the sacrament of holy baptism. And the blood corresponds to what Jesus gives in his own supper. This Holy Thursday, Monday Thursday, remember the bounteous gift that Jesus still gives us, part of his last will and testimony, his Holy Supper, and joyously receive it now and always. Why is it called the Holy Supper? Because it gives you forgiveness of sins. All right? And it most certainly does. So allow me to please pray. So water, blood, and spirit crying by their witness testifying to the one whose death defying life has come with life for all. Amen. I pray that will bless you immensely, not only this evening, but throughout your life. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, we're going to profess the Christian faith and we use the words of the Apostles' Creed and so together we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, We are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So, Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin and our lives sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings and life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls, and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, brothers and sisters, thank you so much for chiming in this Maundy Thursday. Uh, We really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to be going down to Benson later on today to be in worship this evening uh, as we celebrate Maundy Thursday in the institution of our Lord's Holy Supper, uh, Holy Communion for the forgiveness of sins. And so I pray and then I will be there for Good Friday, Holy Saturday and Easter Sunday. I pray that you'll have a very blessed uh, Monday, Thursday, and that you too will receive the sacrament of the Holy Supper for the forgiveness of your sins. Beautiful day here in Southern Arizona. It's supposed to get up into the 90s, and we really appreciate that. And So uh, the flaps and wheels have been retracted, and I convey to each and every one of you a very blessed Monday, Thursday. Amen.